Hi, this is Lori Neverman from Common Sense Homesteading, and today I'm taking a look at our solar water storage tank. Now, in our previous video, we looked at the collectors outside. Well, those collectors are plumbed into this storage tank. The antifreeze comes in from outside up over here, and then it comes down and around through here, and there's a pressure, pressure and temperature gauge. And then this is the solar controller. And the antifreeze continues down here and into the bottom of the storage tank. And there's a heat exchanger down there. And that's where it dumps its heat into the water from the house. The fluid then comes back out of the storage tank up this direction. And this is an expansion tank, which allows for the fluid to expand and contract when it freezes and thaws without damaging the pipes. And then it goes back out through the pump and back out to the solar panels. Now over here, this is the solar water storage tank. This pipe right here feeds cold water in directly from the well. And that comes into the bottom of the tank. Now the heat exchanger, of course, is where the solar is and that's very hot. And so that's, you have your coldest water surrounding your hot heat exchanger for maximum heat transfer. Then as the water is heated, it rises up the tank and comes out up here where it feeds into the boiler system that provides supplementary heat for our radiant in-floor heating system and the hot water for the house when needed. In the summertime, this system will carry the majority of our water heating load. Now if you look in up over here, as I mentioned, this is the controller. Here's the temperature from the panel, the solar water panel outside. You can see it. it's still got a red light out there. It's still fairly hot, but the tank is already up to 120 degrees. So if we check the temperature gauge here, it's only around 100 degrees. So it will not run because the tank is hotter than the solar panel is. So that way you only run the pump when you're actually gaining, gaining energy from the solar panels. Um, this is frost protected because there's antifreeze in the loop from the solar system. And there's a double wall heat exchanger between the solar fluid and the potable water for the house. So you don't have, well you have a very minimal risk of any contamination between the two. And because the heat exchanger is double wall, it, it makes it very safe. And if there ever was a leak, the heat exchange fluid that is used, the antifreeze, is a propylene glycol mix. So that is technically safe to consume in small amounts. And that is the other half of our solar water heating system. Thanks for listening.